Hi, I'm David Pollard, independent candidate for Yerby. Today uh, I've um, been joined by Charlotte from the Riot Act and we're doing the baking challenge. Um, I'm calling this dish back to basics with the flavour of Yerby. I've got here a pavlova and I'm about to decorate it. And I'm calling it back to basics because that's what I want from our government. And that's what I see I can bring. I, can, I think a crossbench um, helps the government get the basics right. Uh, okay, let's make a start. <clears throat> so we've got uh, we've got the pavlova, which is was in the shape of Yerby when it started, but it has expanded out a little bit. That's fine. Um, and we're just going to be decorating it here with one of the community um, areas that I like. Oh, a bit crumbly. Um, and that I that I take my kids down to every now and then. We will cycle around, and that is Yerby Ponds. So um, yeah, plenty plenty to do here locally. Um, in fact, speaking of locally, the eggs for the pavlova were um, were laid in Kayleen, next door to my parents' house. Um, so yeah, we're, we're using the local produce, which I think I've seen a few of the other candidates doing something similar. <coughs> and um, yeah, it's one of one of the things that my daughter quite enjoys is heading down to Yerby Pond and feeding the ducks after our coffee at Denunzio's. Um, actually, when Denunzio's, when, they, uh, when we first moved to the area, oh, we just got some of the shoreline, as much as we have a shoreline. Um, when we first moved to the area and started going to Denunzio's, we, um, they really welcomed us in, um, treated us like locals from the start, which always made sure we came back. And, um, and we actually took uh, my daughter there for her first birthday, where uh, Nunzio took her out of the kitchen and cooked up some Nutella crepes for her um, for a birthday treat, so she really enjoyed that. Actually, let me just give a little bit more, a little bit more of a shoreline there, because I've got some, some of the greenery around the ponds as well. There we go. <laughs> there we go, and um, and and often when you're down at Yerby Ponds, there's people everywhere. We've got people um, at the barbecue areas, the playgrounds. They've got the shade tails over the playgrounds there. We're getting some uh, some more shade tails in the area soon. Um, but there's always people. There's people bustling all over Gungahlin, and that's one of the things that I, I love about uh, about it here. And oops, that one's falling over. And um, and yeah, I, I just I think communities do really well, add a lot of value. I've even seen people kayaking out on the ponds. Although apparently you want a shallow a shallow rudder. And we have a few ducks out in the ponds as well. Back to basics in the flavour of Ruby. <laughs>